Shalom. 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 Hey, we are the Hebrew Israelites, right? We, 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 we come out week in and week out when we're on the highways and byways. We prophesy the downfall of this wicked king, right? And we also do these sit-downs, you know, which, which are edifying also. But first of all, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son. Yahweh, Hashem, Double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Like I said, we, we do these sit downs, man, through the Spirit. We're trying to push this truth and, and build our nation, man, to wake up the, the elect, man, because that's what it's about. You know, the time, the time, because the time is drawing near, man, we at the end of this thing. You can see through the prophecies, right? That's happening that we're at the end, according to when you when you filter through the scriptures, man. You know, you get sick of Ezra's, uh, you got an man. Then, and then, uh, Ezekiel 7 is in the one, too. That's the spirit. This yeah, is, that's, a, yeah. that's the spirit. This wow. is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Measure the time diligent, diligently. Within thyself. So what we do, we 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 go out, we watch each other's videos, and brothers put live feeds up. We're watching it like you know people might be watching now. Uh, we call each other, you know, we talk on the phone, we look up articles, right? Current news, uh, alternative news, you know, the the, the uh, press TVs, the RT, the RTs, the Al Jazeera's, man, the uh, BBC news. We watch the real, the real news, man. And we, we talk amongst each other. We send each other information. This is the information age, man. Information of truth, man. Truth is truth is increasing in this in this planet, right? And if you don't take hold of this truth, then it's gonna be an end to you, man. You know. Go ahead. Okay. And it says, "Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." He's beginning to visit the world that he made, man. How's he doing that? It's earthquakes, right? Earthquakes in diverse places. Everything the scripture talks about, man. Famine. You have famine condition on the planet. You have talks of wars and rumors of wars. You know, I was I was looking at a video where. Uh, Wesley, the dude used to be the general, said the plan was when, Obama, when the plan he read, the uh, manifest he read, I think when Obama was in the office, or right when Bush left, was to conquer seven nations in seven years. And the last two was Syria and Iran. And look at what Trump is doing. He's, he shot missiles on Iran. I mean, uh, Syria, so like Syria. And now he's talking about Iran. And we know that through Ezekiel the 38th is one of the prophecies, man, that we know that the end is near, man. Wow. The stock market, the Dow is falling. Mm -hmm. You know, they're laden with debt, 21 what trillion. You know, so we know that America is on its way out. Me and his brother was talking, I was telling him, like, man, when he get when we know like yeah, it's on, I just might buy me a new ride, I ain't gonna pay for it. Something dependable. I can get around because we ain't gonna pay for it. Like when you know it's on, it's like okay, I'll go to dealership and call. Cause I already know you ain't gonna pay for that whole thing, man. You know it's just the time we in, man. Might you know, it's, bro, get a house and anything. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, you know? And mind for bringing this definition out really quick. Oh man, I, you sell cars. I can't tell you that. You sell cars. <laughs> go ahead, bro. This is the word measure. Now when I pull the word measure up here in the app that I have called the etymology explorer. And as I was reading down, I did find uh, one one uh, definition that was very uh, interesting that I want to bring out. But um, it says the manner of ordering and combining the quantities or long and short syllables, meter, rhythm, hence a metric foot. Now, when you go into like measuring the time, what stood out within that was pretty much measuring a, like a rhythm. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, we read Matthew 24, even the second Ezra 9, which we're getting into, goes into the earthquakes and diverse places. Once you start seeing a certain rhythm or a certain pattern come to play with it, you know it's something that needs to be hearkened to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we, we all understand there's no such thing as coincidence. And it's a rhythm, you know what I'm saying? Uproars of people. Mm -hmm. All right, it happens once, okay. It happens twice in a blue moon. No, we continually see different uproars, rooms of war at the mm -hmm. same time. This is going to be the third year in a row, damn near, where we had a blood moon. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? And these are the things that we bore witness to growing up as children. Even mm -hmm. though we're not older men in age, we understand people might have seen things in the past. But what we're bearing witness to is a revving up of these same patterns. They're speeding up. Like, for example, when a woman is getting ready to give birth, mm -hmm. what happens? She gets contractions. As soon as those contractions get closer and closer and closer, what takes place? The child is born. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's ironic. You see it revelate. And, and, and Isaiah talks about that. You know what I'm saying? Going into the labor pains, mm -hmm. the beginning of sorrows. And then it says, what? A child is, a, a child is brought forth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And all that is going to happen right when catastrophe is breaking loose, man. You see those contractions get closer and closer and closer. It becomes more of a rhythm. Mm -hmm. All right? And what's going on right now is what the new song is being sung. Mm -hmm. Is that not a rhythm? Mm -hmm. He commanded us to come out here and sing this song, and that's what we're doing, man. Just wanted to bring that point. You know, birth pains become more intense. That's too. right. You know, as right. they get close, and okay. what's going to be birth, man? The earth can give birth, mm -hmm. all right, to the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. The elect, start with the elect, man. That's that, right. The, just said measure the time. Time is a sequence, uh, sequence of events over a duration of a period of, it's called a dirt over over duration of period of events, past, present, and future. So it goes right into measure. Mm -hmm. So like you said, we're measuring what, the, the, it said we're measuring these events on a scale, right? The scriptures is the scale we That's measure right. by. That's right. And we know, boom, when this happens, we, we go into the scriptures and we're like, oh man, there it is. We know if this happens, we already, we go into scriptures. Then when this happens, we say, oh, we already read that. Because everything from the point that we are at now, in front of us is future. Mm -hmm. We know through the scriptures what's going to happen in the future, man. We know that it's, the, the scriptures tell you it's the RFID chip coming. Then when you start looking at the RFID news, you start seeing that these companies are making their people get it more and more e each day. It's being convenient. It's real. Con they make it like a convenience, man. Mm -hmm. They they put that that uh that that, that theory out there where you won't be getting robbed. You know, it's safer. You don't have to worry about nobody stealing the car. That's all part of that, man. People getting that microchip under their skin. It's, it's, it's physical, man. It is physical, man. A badge of servitude, man. You know? Just like uh, Apostle Kabar said, hey, it's that old, man, that is in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know? Badge of servitude. We know that through the scriptures, man. If you're one of those people that's out there that's not saying that the mark of the beast is the chip, then that end is gonna to come to you. That we were that we were talking about. Go ahead. Yeah, cool. Come on. This is on St. Matthew chapter 16, verse 1. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempted, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto them, and this is your house shall I speak. When it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather for the mm -hmm. sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather. For the sky is red and lowering. Mm -hmm. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Because we spiritual mm -hmm. forecasters, man. Right. We're spiritual right. weather men, man. All right? And we tell you it's going to get real ugly out here, man. And it's a coincidence, it's kind of gloomy and the wind blowing now outside, mm -hmm. man. Right. You know? Because the storm is a brewing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? The uh, stock market crash, the dollar dropping. All right, the famine, all those things gonna co coincide, man. When these prophecy hits, it's gonna be a dumb, a domino effect, man. The Lord finna hit this place with all type of combinations, man. You know, Egypt finna get struck with them plagues, man. And this the time that we're living in, man. And we can tell, all right, by the spiritual forecast out here, man. All nations are preparing for war. All nations are preparing for war, man. You know, uh, all nations are preparing for an uh, economic reset, you know. All these things are happening globally, you know, but uh, 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 Hal was, was cussing those wicked scribes and Pharisees out because they were talking about showing them a, shine, a sign, mm -hmm. all right? What sign do you need, man? You know, if you, if you look out to the world, if you measure the time diligently, you won't be asking for no sign. You would know what time it is, man, you know? Y'all want white Jesus to come out of the sky. Yeah, and have a sermon. Yeah, have a sermon <laughs> tell y'all come with me. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> I got one. Go ahead, bro. Finish, finish. Uh, go down the edge. Then we'll get you up. Okay. This is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse three. Therefore, then there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Uproars of people. 
All right, ain't they going ballistic over the yellow vest uh, 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 movement? All right, don't you have uh, federal workers in America have a, a, a tweet? All right, hashtag shutdown stories or mm -hmm. when they crying? All right, about the shutdown and how it's affecting their day to day. Uproars of the people, man. People finna be out in the streets, man. It's finna get so bad out here, man. You know, because people, once you get the, what, what America known for living carelessly in pleasure, especially in these big cities, man. You know, you can ball every night, man. If you got a hundred dollars spent every night, you can go be the man. You know, but see, that's finna be cut short. When you can't party and bullshit no more, then that's when you finna see people uh, uproars, man. You know, when you can't party and bullshit, then you can't eat like you used to. You, you, you can't get gas to travel. You gotta sit your ass down. All right, people finna take to the streets, man. You know, it's coming to America. It's gonna hit this place the most because this is the most spoiled uh, uh, country on the planet, man. Let them cut that first check off. Oh, shit. Them. They gonna be out there. <laughs> they be out there in the city hall and fold, 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 fold over. Go ahead, bro. Cut that check off. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Then shall thy well of the stand most high spake of these things from days that were before thee, even mm -hmm. from the beginning. Even from the beginning, man. The prophets always exactly. speaking at this time, man. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. This, this has definitely been a well anticipated anticipated time through history that we're living in right now. And like the like the priest over here just made the statement, the prophet's been talking about it. it that this understanding has been sown in the planet Earth since sin was planted, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is a very important time that we're living in right now. That's why when you read it in Daniel the twelfth chapter. It talks about a time that's never to come, okay? Because as, as he's going into, you're going to have uproars of the people. He mentioned the the, 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 the yellow the yellow vest uh, movement that's going on right now. And then you got Venezuela, okay? The reason why you see all this stuff is going on because the, the, there's no way to eat. You know what I'm saying? Markets crash, and you see what's going on here in America. You got in December, the markets have been the lowest since it's been since the Great Depression, Understanding that the Heavenly Father can do whatever He wants to, He can raise it back up in an instant. But again, we're going into measuring the time. You know, and the prophets have been measuring the time since the beginning, man. And what did the Lord do? He always placed prophets within those certain periods of time to let them know the judgment that was getting ready to take place, man. It was always there. You know, mind if I ask the real quick precept real quick? Okay, and this is during the ancient Babylonian Empire. When we look at this empire today, which is America, Mystery Babylon. All right, it's written in Revelation, the 18th chapter. So the same ways that Babylon fell, you're going to see that same uh, comparison and that same rhythm, so to speak, from back then as right now, man. Just like ancient Rome. Now this is the book of Daniel, and this is the this is um, what was written in the wall by some random person. But we'll see what it reads here. All right, this is um, Daniel chapter five, starting at verse 24. It says, then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. And the one who read this writing was the king of Nebuchadnezzar, uh, the son of Nebuchadnezzar, who went by the name of Belshazzar. Okay, he was the ruler of the Babylonian Empire around the time when um, when Darius, I believe it was Darius, yeah, the mm -hmm. Darius, the, um, the, he was the Persian, mm -hmm. the Mede, that's right, that's right, the water. Darius the Mede came over there, okay? So this is in verse 25, and this is the writing that was written. Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufarsin. Okay. It says, this is the interpretation of the thing. Mene. And it says, the Most High had numbered thy kingdom and finished it. You know, now when you go into that word number, I can't remember what it is in the Hebrew, but it goes to the word measure. You know what I'm saying? So it's saying it was pretty much measured. All right. And that's what we're doing right now, man. We, we see the imbalances that are made within here in America. Homosexuals able to get married, they're putting that freely. The vanities and the and the abominations that they uplift over here, which contradict, they're not even just contradict, because they ain't with the scriptures anyway, but they completely oppose the words that are written here, man. And just like the ancient Babylonian Empire, which pretty much mimicked the ancient Assyrian Empire, which you had people wearing dresses walking around that was men. You know, you had sacrificing them to idols and they put it out there for everybody to see. These people bow down to it. They call them their idols on TV when they're watching TV. American Idol is setting a third. There's no glorification of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. So when you look at this kingdom, and as the scriptures talk about an unjust kingdom, the way it has to go down, the same way, ooh, a word, in a worse fashion, this is going to go down compared to Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a little more to it, though. Yeah, bro. It says, verse 27, Tekel, that are weighed in the balance and are found wanting. 
All right, so all these different accumulations of the pattern that we've seen are being brought in. And it says what? Thou art, thou art wanting. When you go into that word wanting, it goes to lacking. All right, what's it lacking? Spirituality. Lacking the presence of the Most High. And most importantly, and well, not most important, that's the most important thing. The power of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, that's what it's lacking. But when you go into the people that these Edomites or these modern day Babylonians taken in slavery, they took the apple of the Most High. You know, so what is that going to do to the balance? It's going to make it plummet, man. Mm -hmm. All this wrongdoing that's going on, this place has to pay for it, man. That, that judgment. That judgment, that's right. That's what that's what it's lacking, man. You know, just because the, the, uh, they talk about the, the, the deficit, how America is treating the dollars in debt. Mm -hmm. You know, but really they ain't debt to the most high, man. Mm -hmm. Not the elite bankers, yeah. man. You know, so judgment, it's a lot of judgment that has to be meted out. You are right, chiefly here in America, man. You know, right. they're like you go to courtroom and you got all these charges. You've been doing all this shit for all these years, but you ain't did no years. So how the judge going to bounce right. it out? He going to give you a, a dumbass number, man. That's right. <laughs> you know, he's going to give you some shit that will be on the front page. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how it's going to be in America, man. When this judgment finally get beat, it's going to be so great to mm -hmm. add up to all this wickedness, man. That's right. You know? Come on, you got a quick precept. Proverbs 11. Oh, you want me to pull it? I got yeah, you. Yeah, you can bring that. You can bring that. Yeah, okay, right. you can bring the definition right after you. So it goes right into it. So Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple as that, you know. As we went into it in Daniel, Daniel the 5th chapter, it says, Men and men at Tekel, thy kingdom is measured and, and, and weighed in the balance and, and found lacking. You know what I'm saying? It's a, what? The scriptures clearly say a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. And I mean, he, of course, a spiritual man is going to see it. But even people that aren't spiritual can look, can look out here and see something's going on. Now, whether they cover it or not, it's up to them. But they have eyes to see it, man. You know, the weather's telling you, the animals are telling you, death is telling you. All right? It's an, and it's obvious it's an abomination to the Lord. If that was the case, then all these plagues wouldn't be hitting America right now. Okay? Just like Egypt, just like Babylon. Okay, if you rule unjustly, you're going to have to be paid for it, man. Yeah. All right, you got that definition? Kind of. Yeah, the definition of the word number in uh, Daniel, what was that, Daniel chapter uh, mm -hmm. 4? Daniel chapter 5. Uh, chapter 5 mm -hmm. is uh, Mana. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Mana means to number, to reckon, um, to a point. Also, it says, when you go to the root word, which is the same word, it says, um, to prepare, to count, to number. To number, man. to measure, man. Right. Is there more? That's, that was pretty much it. It says the same thing. But yeah. the days of this place, is, of this kingdom is numbered, man. Mm -hmm. Just like how it was written on uh, on the wall. That's why they say, you know, you got to see the writing on the wall. You see that you can't ignore the elephant in the room. Something's right. going on that's, that, that is very obvious right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, this, and it, it is the fact that this place is numbered. The days of this place is numbered, man. That's right. That's right, bro. Yeah. Oh, I had a precept. Yeah, so. good job. Okay. That was it. Yeah. Second this is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, and uh, I'll start at verse 1. It says, I will stand on my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he shall, what he will say unto me. And we on our towers daily, man. How do you be on your tower? Just like, you know, uh, uh, the brother said, man. You know, watching the current events, mm -hmm. you know. Watching uh, other brothers' videos, man, who be up on current events, you know, because we can't watch everything, you know. That's why we have a Bible, you know, but uh, uh, filtering everything through the scriptures, keeping up with geopolitics, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. seeing what's seeing what's the, the social climate out here, man. You know, that's how we stay on our watch, man. You know, and we see what the, the Lord says, man, because when something happens that the scriptures speak of, that's the Lord talking to His prophets, man. You know, go ahead, bro. God says. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Come. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And we run it with the prophecy, prophecy now, man. You see, back then they didn't understand it completely, man. Because there wasn't no such thing as ICBM during the time of the ancient prophets. All right? They didn't have uh, uh, the uh, FRN, no, the American dollar, man. America wasn't established as a country, you know. But now in these times, they they wrote on these things and they seen the visions, you know, and those prophets are back. So now they're seeing 
what they wrote in ancient time and now they see it and it's a hundred percent clear, you know, and they running with it now, man. You know, we running with these prophecies now, especially like uh you know, when the uh, elder brother Ariala and the elder Kai Kwan do them algorithm, they running with these prophecies, man. Mm. They breaking it down to the T, man. They running it down. This this what this mean. This is what this talking about. Alright? And we seeing that, man. You know, so the so the prophets is running with these prophecies and warning the people, but it's on you to take heed, man. That's yeah. right. When, when you go into those tables and have a the second chapter, you know, that goes into a tablet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this is the modern day table right here. Come. You know, these things were written. You get a book of Habakkuk, this is right here. Come. You know what I'm saying? Book of Second Ezra, books of all these. These are what was commanded for those prophets to write down. And we're doing the same thing. Only difference is we call these here electronic epistles that we have. You know, we're not writing it down, documented. We're documented via what you see right here. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's being pushed through the internet, man. That's how Israel's waking up around this time, man. And it's going to come a point in time when that internet cuts off, man, and that plague is going to hit. And that's all. At the same time, all the stock, everything's going to be going crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be an uproar. You got it, brother. Got it. Verse 3 says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And we're coming up on the appointed time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's going to speak. And we, when we hear it speak loud and loud by the day, man. Mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah. it, said, it says, uh, uh, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Because when, cause it seems like it's tearing, you know, you'll have a little skirmish breakout over there in the Middle Eastern region. You know, brother, here yeah, this is it. And then it's die down. You know, kind of being dropped. And then they uh, uh, pump it back up. You know, seem like it's tearing, man. You know, but what the scriptures say: in your patience, possession your soul, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to be patient and endure all these things. But when it hit, when the Lord, when the Lord turn everything loose, when those four angels stop holding back this destruction, you know, it's gonna be it, man. It ain't gonna tear. It's gonna be things happening constantly, constantly. Constantly, man, if you ain't built up and if you're not stable, you know, which we pray daily that we all be built up to endure through this time, man, mm -hmm. you know, but if you're not at, at no point to endure, man, you're going to be swallowed up, man, you're going to be overwhelmed, man, you know, because the Lord finna start throwing the flurry haymakers, man, you know, and if you ain't got the uh, uh, defense <laughs> or the scripture you threw, man, you know. God, just for, on my end of correction, I said earlier, Darius to me, I was, I was talking about Cyrus. I meant to say Cyrus when he came in and took oh, that. Yeah, I was come just come thinking come about that just come now. Come it's locking. You know, I just want to put it out there on wax. Come, come. Yeah, I was in the mind. I was in the that one. Second Ezra. Because uh, I know you said somebody else. Second Ezra was one of them tablets, right? Yeah, yeah come. So I'm going to read come Second Ezra then. It says, see what he got to say about it. <laughs> Fourth chapter. Uh, let's start at 36. It says, and unto these things, Uriel. The archangel gave them answer and said, even when the number of the seeds is filled in your Ooh. in you, for he have weighted the world in the balance. By measure he have measured the time, and by the number he have measured the time. Everything already set up, man. Mm -hmm. It's already a uh, cutoff limit, all right, for Esau's kingdom, man. Matter of fact, the brother get Job 14 and 5, you know what I'm saying? It's already a, a set measure. Everything is already, America's not going to go on any longer than it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. So-called white men, Esau, these elite bankers, they're not going to rule, all right, no longer than they're supposed to. And we're not going to be in captivity no longer than we're supposed to, man. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is already set in a measure, man. You know, the most high is, is, is very tedious on this order, man. You studied the old... Testament, man, how tedious he had them Levites, all right, and those ceremonial things that they had to do, you know? So, you know, ain't nothing going to be uh, unorganized and sloppy, man. Everything is already set, all right, in stone what it's going to be, man, you know? It says, by measure have he measured the time, mm -hmm. and by number have he measured the time. Come. It says, and he does not move nor stir them until he... The said measure is fulfilled. He don't move or stir them to that said measure to fill. Because Esau has a punishment, you know, but the most high operates all right in the end. He works his way back. So Esau has to reach a certain level of wickedness, all right, so he can be uh justified in the punishment that the Lord gonna put on him, man. 
Sure. So Luke yeah. most likely be justifying the punishment that's coming, man. Because he 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 might got a lot of hell to pay, man. All right, at the end of their kingdom, and then a thousand years duration in our kingdom, man. You know, but for them to be meek for their judgment, they got to set a uh, measure that they got to feel in wickedness, man. That's why it's going to get more wicked as it, uh, uh, more and more wicked as we go on in this That's kingdom, right. man. That's right. Let me get that Job real quick, bro. Come on. This is the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 5. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. His, his days are numbered, you know. He got bound that he can't pass, man. So he saw you coming coming to your last uh, few days, man. It's time for you to check out, man. All right? It's time, it's time for you to check out your uh, uh, presidential suite. All right? It's check out time, man. You know? Oh, you late on the check out. <laughs> late on the check out. It was say you in charge mode. Uh, old do balance. Yeah, you got old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah um, it's a song. The last couple. Uh, Psalms chapter 104 verse 9 it says thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over that they turn not again to cover the earth that they turn not again to cover the earth man no more rulership for you heathens out there this man you know especially you Edomites man you know you on death row man you know mm -hmm. oh that was that was it okay yeah, yeah. I got one I actually got two, so, on, two. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, starting at the top. It says, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, saying, Write these things all in words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And this is going to happen in our lifetime. All right, we're the last generation, man. All right, the two thirds and the elect, the generation of wrath, the two thirds of our people and the, the elect, the 144,000. All right, and the one third that knew the multitude. All right, the generation of salvation, man. They're both That's here, right. man, to receive their reward, man, whether it be good or bad. That's right, you know. Go ahead, bro. Verse 4 And these are the words that Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. All right, and as we speak, these are Yahweh Hashem Yahweh words too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why when these people come up against us, ultimately we understand it's not us that they're coming against, mm -hmm. but it's Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Because yes, Jeremiah wrote this, right? Mm -hmm. and Jeremiah had to run with it because they, they were trying to tear this book up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These are the words of the Lord that are speaking right now. So it's definitely well needed for your Israelites that are out there that might be wavering in the spirit, don't know what you need to do. And the time is coming close to an end. It's time to hear the voice of the prophets, man. We all the way at the end. There's one more verse. It says, For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and of not of peace. And that's the thing about Jake, man. Jake want to hear smooth things and peaceful things, man. And that's why they come up against us, man. They'd rather go to the, these other camps and hear words like Israel just needs to come together as a community and make things happen. The 12 tribes of Israel, Europe, precious seed of the most high, this, that, and the third. That's what these other camps tell you. Right. You know, we was watching a video earlier, and it was, um, you know, a video, it was funny, it was a video of um, one of Nate's flunkies in Atlanta, and there was some guys on the other side that clearly listened to Great Millstone, you know what I'm saying? And then they asked the question, what is Karagma? Is Karagma spiritual? And they were tap dancing, buck dancing, past mm -hmm. the, literally, if you watch it, it's, it's really sickening. Yeah. How bad that they were tap dancing from it. They were not answering, calling them wicked. And then the thing was, the statement that he said was, why do we need to tell you about this, that, and the third? What we need to be, how is that going to, how, how does that benefit your salvation? He said, how does that benefit Israel coming together? That was the thing that he said. But when you go into that, that's written in the scriptures. And it's written, if you take that mark, if you take that chip, all right, there's no chance of you receiving it, man. But you got guys that tap dance away from this, and you got Israelites that want to hear this, man. They want to, they, they, they're content with just being an Israelite in America. They want to build here in America. But just as the same thing Jeremiah was saying, look, man, y'all going to get taken down. You better repent to the Lord. And that's what we're telling you through the Spirit. God. Except we're not physically writing it in a book. We're this documented in a video, and it's being put out there. So it's the Spirit why you got YouTube subscribers want to subscribe to your channel 
And that word scribe, what does it mean? It means to write down, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we're doing. We're subscribing through the spirit onto YouTube and you people are viewing and reading this letter, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I got I got it, but if you got a precept too, I can I can bring this out after. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 14, and I'm going to read, I'm going to start at verse um, 5. And it says, and told him, and this is um, the burning bliss speaking to Ezra. It says, and it told him many his wondrous things, and showed him the secrets and the times and the end, and commanded him, saying. All right, so meaning that stuff is written. So if it's secrets and the times and all of that, it's written here. These words shall thou declare, and these shall thou hide. Okay. Thou, I'm sorry, that thou lay up in the heart of the signs that I have shown, and the dreams that I have seen, and the interpretations which thou hast heard. For thou shalt be taken away from all, and from henceforth thou shalt remain with my son, and with such as be like thee, until the times be ended. And this clearly shows you that Ezra's got to be back somewhere today. And you brought up the scripture in Second Ezra's earlier, going into an amount of um, seeds that's appointed. Yeah. All right, going into reincarnation, clearly said, in this number of seeds, in this number of times, you're going to come back on the planet Earth. Then you're going to receive the destruction. It's the last reincarnation. The, that, the, exactly. And not only just Ezra, but ones that be like him. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be all the prophets. Okay, okay. I, 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 you know, I'll continue on this real quick. It says, for the world had lost its youth, and the times begin to wax old. For the world is divided into 12 parts. In the 10th part, of it are gone already in half of the tenth part. Twenty five hundred years ago, man. Twenty five hundred years ago, ten and a half parts were already gone because those twelve parts are se are separated as spans of time. You know, measuring right. And he's telling us to measure the time diligently, so we understand. Twenty five hundred years ago was ten and a half parts gone. You fast forward twenty five hundred years later, you can see the part that we get is definitely past the ten and a half part, which means past the eleventh. We damn near the twelfth. Exactly, exactly. We're getting ready to witness Esau's rulership and Babylon's downfall, man. Come Mene, on. Mene, Tekel, man. Come on. Y'all got it. Uh, I got one. In, you know, I got you. Yeah, we need it. It's uh, Ezekiel 7, in 2 and 3. Also, thy son of man, thou said, the Lord Yahweh, unto the land of Israel. And in the end is come on the four corners of the land. Now is the end come unto, upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, mm -hmm. and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. So judgment, heavy judgment is coming to the earth, man. Chiefly here in America, man, the, the source, all right, of the spirit of anti-Messiah, man, mm -hmm. resides here in America, man. You know, so people finna be judged for their actions, man. See, Esau has gotten the world you know, condition, you know, YOLO, live, you only live once, you know. Um, no one can judge me, man. You know, govern yourself by your opinion. But a higher power is going to govern you by these scriptures, man. You know, the books were open, man. The books of what you did in your life, you know, and comparing it to the scriptures, man. You know, symbolically how the Lord is going to be judging according to the standard of the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and the reason why they're lit, all right, will be saved because the blood of your house shot covers us from our sins, man. You know, but the uh, uh, the rest of our people, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, all right, who want to do it your way, you know, you're going to be naked. You ain't got no sacrifice. The blood of your house shot going to cover you, man. That's right. Your own blood going to have to cover you, man. You're going to have to be born in the kingdom, man. You know, but that was the point. Uh, hey, man, with that, I hope this short lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. We'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakat Kodash. And double honors to the apostles, the elders, and GMS who rule well. The peace and blessings to the whole for elect, man. Hey, just keep your faith, stay strong. Hey, the, 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 the scales, hey, the time is.